All right, guys, another week, and we are back for some more championship transfer rumours. As always, I want to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Plenty going on around the championship right now. Also, if you've not hit that subscribe button already, make sure to go ahead and do so. With the transfer window now officially open, this is where the deals are really going to start to filter through. But before we do get into any of the transfer news, it's only right that we all send our best wishes to Matias Sarkic's family. Over the weekend, we had the devastating news that the Millwall goalkeeper lost his life at the age of 20. 26, while away on international duty with Montenegro and uh, truly heartbreaking news. So of course my best wishes go out to everyone connected to Millwall and Sarkic. For the purposes of today's video though we will be going over all of the latest transfer news in the championship so let's start out with the done deals. We saw Blackburn Rovers completing a deal for Aidan Doherty. The Linfield youngster looks like a good prospect for the future and Blackburn reportedly fended off some Premier League interest to get this deal done as well. We also saw Max Lowe making the jump from Sheffield United to Sheffield Wednesday. We knew the fullback would be available on a free transfer this summer and he's since signed up at Hillsborough. I think if Sheffield Wednesday managed to get him fully fit, they've got a decent player there, especially for the championship. And another deal Wednesday have got done as well is Ben Hamish signing on a free transfer upon his contract with Watford expiring. Wednesday still in the market for another goalkeeper. You'd imagine Hamer would be coming in as that sort of number two option to push the number one. Portsmouth snapped up a deal for Jordan Williams on a free transfer upon his contract with Barnsley expiring. Quite like the look of that deal. Obviously, we've all seen him in the championship previously, capable of playing as a right centre half or probably in his more preferred position as a right wing back. Plenty of pace to burn. I think that's a nice pickup from Pompey. A very interesting deal. We saw Borough get a deal over the line for Delano Bogzog for an undisclosed fee. Now, the Dutch forward spent the last season on loan with Huddersfield Town and it was an interesting in loan spell to say the least. He had his ups and downs during his spell with Huddersfield, maybe a little bit inconsistent, but I think that's a given when he was part of that side. Definitely Huddersfield's most threatening attacker I thought last season. He's got quite a big frame hasn't he, but definitely has enough technical ability where a decent coach like Carrick can definitely get something out of him and in a more confident attacking setup next season in Middlesbrough. I'm quietly confident that that signing could actually turn out to be a hit, you know. I thought he was one of Huddersfield's best players when they came to Deepdale towards the back end of last season. Still 25 as well, can play anywhere across the forward line. I'm intrigued to see how that deal does. But those are some of the done deals we've seen going through in the Championship over these past few days. Now, let's jump into some transfer rumours. Now, it's been well documented documented that Manchester United have already lodged a bid for Everton defender Jared Branthwaite and Everton are already looking through the market trying to find a Branthwaite alternative if he is to leave Goodison Park this summer and it seems as if they've landed on Hull City defender Jacob Greaves as their guy. Definitely think stylistically there are quite a few comparisons you can make between Branthwaite and Greaves. We've said it a few times on the channel so far but one of the best defenders in the championship last season thought he was absolutely brilliant when Hull came to Deepdale towards the back end of last season. Really commanding defender who's got a good ability on the ball left footed as well. Hull have already said that if they do get an acceptable offer for him they won't stand in his way from leaving this summer and making that move to the Premier League. So if Everton do receive a big chunk of change via selling Branthway, I can definitely see the legs in that rumour that they would go after Greaves as his replacement. Interesting story going around about Lee Nichols at the moment as well. The Huddersfield goalkeeper is being eyed by Swansea City. Now it's no secret that Swansea would like to get Carl Rushworth back on loan for next season after how well the Brighton goalkeeper did while on loan in the Championship last season but a lot of other sides are expected to be interested in him and so it seems as if they've sounded out Nichols as a potential alternative. Now he's still under contract with Huddersfield until 2026. Perhaps didn't have his very best season last year of course involved in that relegation with Huddersfield but in years gone by he's definitely showcased an ability where he's proven he can be a really top level championship goalkeeper. 31 years old now, that's definitely a story worth keeping tabs on. This one could be a really good deal for Leeds United. They're being linked with a move for Spurs Spurs holding midfielder Oliver Skip. Now, Skip is on a long-term contract at Spurs until 2027, so whether or not this one would be a low move or a permanent, we'll have to wait and see, but info coming from The Athletic that Leeds United are interested, and I 
think this one will be a really good deal for Leeds, if I'm honest. Obviously, Skip already has that pre-existing relationship with Daniel Farker. He spent a season on loan with Norwich City when they won the championship back in 2021. And I do remember Skip being really influential that season. For championship football especially, he can be an absolute game changer. Brilliant at setting the tempo. Someone to have in that role alongside Ethan Ampadu, maybe. He didn't play that much football last season. The majority of his appearances for Spurs did come off the bench. So if he is looking for regular first-team football, a drop back down to the Championship would make sense. I'm sure Leeds fans would be on board with that deal. Sheffield United defender Anela hamid Hozik is being linked with a number of clubs right now. Italian side Atalanta, the latest club to register an interest in the Bosnia defender. Now, a couple of years ago during Sheffield United's promotion charge from the championship he was absolutely brilliant a brilliant pickup for the Blades I believe they got a deal done in the end for around 2 million last season in the Premier League obviously didn't go to plan and with the amount of goals they conceded his valuation probably took a little bit of a hit on the back of that Atalanta are hopeful to get a deal done at around 10 to 12 million is worth noting that he does have a 17 million pound release clause within his Sheffield United contract but seems as if the Italian sides think they can negotiate negotiate a deal for a little bit cheaper than that. The likes of Lazio and Napoli I've also seen linked as well, but a move to Italy could very much be on the cards this summer. Gabriel Osho is a player Sheffield United are being linked with as a potential replacement for Ahmed Hozik. The 25-year-old defender is out of contract with Luton Town this summer, and it's been well reported that the Blades are interested in a move for him. However, potential talks with the Luton defender have seemingly stalled as a result of the impending takeover which is continuing to rumble on. Until a potential takeover of Sheffield United is done, it's unclear as to whether or not the club could get this sort of deal over the line. It's also been well documented that Sheffield United are interested in Preston midfielder Alan Brown, but once again are facing a similar problem here. The club seemingly unable to give Brown a suitable offer until a takeover is complete, which is going to make all of these deals rumble on. And Brown does find himself in... A bit of a tricky situation, it's definitely a ticking time bomb with the Alan Brown situation. It still seems as if he's got a contract offer on the table from Preston North End. His current deal does expire at the end of this month. And Brown has sort of been forced to play a bit of a waiting game here, which is frustrating from a North End point of view. I do think that Brown would be a sensible sort of pickup for Sheffield United. I think he'd be a really good character going into that dressing room, obviously a very solid championship player as well. I still think it seems more than likely that Brown will leave Preston this summer, but the longer he is without a club, maybe the more likely that makes him to stay, I don't know. We did see quite the bizarre transfer story as well, linking Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain with a move to Sheffield United, but if the Blades aren't able to negotiate deals for the likes of Alan Brown and Gabe Osho right now, I'm not sure they'll be able to strike a deal for Oxlade-Chamberlain and the sort of wage demands that he'd have. He's playing his football out in Turkey right now for Besiktas, has been linked with a return to England, but I can't see him going to Sheffield United anytime soon. It's no secret that West Brom are keen to sign Mikey Johnson going into next season on the back of a really good loan spell at the Hawthorns in the back end of last season. He scored seven goals and two assists from January onwards. Very tidy player, but it is now being reported that Celtic are looking for upwards of six million this summer if they're going to be selling him on a permanent basis. I think that that loan spell at the Hawthorns definitely upped his price tag. Whether or not any championship clubs would be willing to put up those sort of figures for the 25-year-old will have to wait and see. Aberdeen midfielder Connor Barron is currently being linked with plenty of championship clubs as he's yet to commit his long-term future to Aberdeen. Is out of contract at the end of this month and is yet to sign the contract offer on the table from the Scottish club. You've got the likes of Stoke, Plymouth, Cardiff and and Swansea, who have all registered an interest in the 21-year-old, but Rangers are also circling as well, and if the midfielder wants to stay in Scotland, he does have that option on the table as well, it would seem. There's been plenty of talk about Marco Stemenic and his move to Coventry City. As of recording, the deal is yet to be officially announced, but seems to be close. 22-year-old holding midfielder is currently playing his football in Serbia for Red Star Belgrade. Seems as if a deal to Coventry is getting closer. But there you have it guys, a quick update from some of the latest transfer rumours that I've seen going around the championship. As always, any other rumours that we didn't mention in today's video, make sure to get them in the comments down below. If you're not already, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. This is your best place to stay informed with all the news going on around the EFL championship. But other than that, thank you very much for tuning in and I'll see you all in the next one.